please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. That's an important bit that is really coming in mm -hmm. and uh, Walmart Flipkart deal is a done deal and both the companies really sign the term sheet to ink mm. the deal. Remember, this is the largest mergers and acquisitions deal on the street. $20 billion is the kind of valuation given to Flipkart and uh, the deal announcement of uh, Walmart Flipkart is later today. So <coughs> that's a big, big story of the day and we will be focusing on that and we have some exclusive news also coming in just ahead of that announcement on the finer print of that particular deal as well. So Kritika Saxena is right here with all the details. Tell us Kritika. Well of course there was the final board meeting uh, which was critical to uh, finalize the deal. The announcement is likely today evening as we have been reporting. Shireen remember had reported the exact fine print of the details uh, and it is bang in line. So we understand that Walmart and Flipkart have officially signed the term sheet. Uh, this is what our sources have confirmed. The CEO of Walmart, Doug McMillan, as we had been reporting yesterday, is in India at this point in time and the deal has been in what we understand is Walmart is going to be acquiring a significant majority stake exactly as we had been reporting. As Shireen had said, they will be investing $2 billion fresh capital and they will buy the remaining from the current investors. So just to reiterate what we have been pointing out, the management of Flipkart, the current employee structure, the current management structure is going to remain the same. This is of course the largest e-commerce deal and it, had, it, it is a complex deal. It has been structured in many parts. SoftBank, which holds about 20% stake, is going to be completely exiting. Tencent, Tiger Global, Axel, Bini Mansal will be retaining part stake and NASPA and a couple of other investors are going to be exiting completely. Uh, amongst the founders, of course, there are two founders, Bini Mansal and Sachin Mansal. So Sachin Mansal is going to be exiting his 5.5% stake and Bini Mansal will uh, stay on as a group CEO. So like what I was saying, what they are going to create is a structure where the entire Flipkart team stays as is. And this is exactly what we had reported yesterday and we had given the fine print as well. The, the entire management structure is going to be the same. Uh, Walmart is, of course, going to be absorbed into the board. The board structure will change altogether. Uh, we haven't been able to confirm exactly how many board seats they have gotten, but of course, uh, that is going to be clearer now uh, later today. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Well, uh, of course, this is a dream run, right, that Sachin yeah. and Vinny Bansal have had. Imagine creating a company oh, that eventually gets bought out by Walmart. Of course, this is Walmart's uh, biggest bet, boldest bet in the and Indian market. And this is market. the largest yeah. uh, uh, deal in the e-commerce space in the world yeah. so far. So, $20 million, Anisha was saying, is the highest value based on the agreement that they have done.